So much. Merci de nous honorer de votre présence euh, cet après-midi et surtout merci de l'intérêt que vous portez aux lions indomptables. Votre présence massive ici le témoigne à suffisance. Comme vous le savez, nous sortons de deux semaines de regroupement, d'abord à Madrid et ensuite à Doha au, au Qatar. Et nous n'avons pas pu jusque-là échanger de manière directe avec la presse locale. Tout au moins le coach n'a pas pu échanger de manière directe avec la presse camerounaise. Et c'est à cet exercice que nous allons nous plier ce soir, surtout, surtout pour... Euh, parler des 23 qui vont être nos portes-étendards en, en Égypte. Je ne voudrais pas orienter euh, vos questions, mais nous aimerions bien que vous permettiez au coach d'expliquer ses euh, choix. Donc, euh, vous pouvez poser les questions en français ou en anglais, mais le coach euh, s'exprime en anglais et après on pourra faire des voice-over ou bien des, des translations, ça dépendra. Ok. On va commencer comme d'habitude, vous vous présentez et puis vous dites pour quel organe vous, vous travaillez. Il y a déjà un doigt. Je pense que nous allons prendre une série de doigts. Oui, bonjour coach. Bonjour coach. Ok, merci. Oui, bonjour coach. Mais comme on a dit 14 et 14, toutes nos excuses, excuses. Vous n'êtes pas excusé avant de commencer. Toutes nos excuses. Maintenant, coach, vous avez rendu public la liste des 23 joueurs. Votre nom, s'il vous plaît. Moi, c'est Justin Nelidier qui travaille pour le compte de HTV. On veut, nous voulons savoir l'opinion publique des Camerounais pourquoi l'absence d'un joueur comme euh, Jérôme Ongele, l'absence, euh, on nous a fait savoir que Vincent Boubacar est blessé. Est-ce que. Euh, sa blessure ne pouvait pas nous permettre, par exemple, d'avoir un joueur comme celui là on a encore vu les articles sur RFI. Il fait partie des stars qui ne feront pas partie de cette messe sportive à partir d'un et demain du côté de Jim Jones. Someone to explain the how Good afternoon to everybody. Uh, okay. Okay. Good afternoon to everybody. Um, we're back home. Very happy to be in Cameroon for uh, for our visit and uh, and uh, a moment uh, together before Afcon. Um, I I will explain a bit about. Uh, situation of Abu Bakr. Uh, he came in injured uh, because he, he got injured, uh, I think, um, like a week before we started camp, unfortunately. Uh, he was out for six months uh, because of a bad injury. He came back, but he um, got a muscle problem uh, a week before camp. But uh, we were hoping to be able to recover him um, in time. Uh, to take him with us because uh, there's no discussion about uh, what Bubakar could could mean for us um, uh, with his experience and with his uh, his talent and his leadership. Unfortunately, uh, the outcome uh, from a clinical, clinical, medical, clinical point of view, he would have been ready only in the third week. Doesn't make sense, obviously, to um, have one player less for such a long time. We were very sad, but uh, even him understood it, and uh, he wished us well. And for sure, um, also for his career, it was important not to uh, to push 
just for one match because the risk was very, really high. So that is the situation of Bubaka. Um, and then Ongene simply uh, is a very young player still. Um, we like him very much. He, uh, he worked very hard. But uh, in the battle with Dawa, he lost it, simply. Um, uh, Dawa has uh, proved to be in better shape at this moment. And that's why we choose uh, Dawa and, uh, and not Tongene. But Tongene is a future, uh, a future player for Cameroon. He is committed to, to the country, to the national team. And, um, and that sport, right? Uh, we had 37 players, 36 players in, in Madrid. And we had to make uh, some choices. Uh, and I think this was one of the, the toughest ones. Okay, coach, I'll try in English, more fast, yeah, Tasha, you press. Okay. okay, you use uh, three tactical uh, systems, since you can, you can run, the 4-4-2, four, four, the 4-3-3, four, three, three, and the 3-5-2. and two. I want to know which of the three systems gives you the best satisfaction, and which will be, will be your system in the Afghan Cup of Nations. Thank you. I am Alain Nicole of PuisteFood.com. Thank you for the question. I, I, I have to um, just not precise exactly what the systems are that we used. Uh, we used a 4-2-3-1 system. Yeah, that is the first one we used for many games. Then we used 4-3-1-2 against Brazil, against Comor. And uh, we have used 3-4-1-2 uh, in the last matches. Um, this gives uh, us possibility to move around with the team because the philosophy when we have the ball doesn't change, the philosophy when we defend doesn't change, but it gives us a different positioning in, in the field that can benefit uh, the talent of our players, the qualities of our players and also create, of course, uh, more difficulty for the adversaries because we can change systems uh, without um, decreasing, uh, decreasing our capacity to, to perform. So we are very happy with that. This is a fantastic capacity that the team has shown to be able to play more systems and still be uh, efficient. Okay, thank you, Coach. Uh, my name is Gilbert Ongene from the CRT Television. Now, I want to find out from you, uh, do you measure the weight, the weight that uh, is on your shoulders, you as the head coach of the Innovative Lions? You know, the track record of the Lions uh, as a team in Africa. Uh, we, we are really champions at the moment, and you're going to Egypt to defend the crown that was won in Gabon by some other coach. Now, does that alone, that alone, does it uh, have uh, some impact on uh, the choices you make? Does it impact the choices you make? Now, talking about uh, the striker. One, 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 one at a time, please. One, 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 one at, at a time, yes. Okay. Yes. So, does it really have a psychological impact on you, owing to the fact that what I just said, reigning champion, the, the Cup was won by some other coach, not you, and you've come to enter into the shoes of some other person. You have made choices, you've left out some players, and you've taken some. Uh, do you feel the full weight of all of that? We moved to 24 teams instead of whatever now in Egypt. Do you feel the weight? Mm. Yeah, I don't know if I understand uh, well your question, but um, I don't feel extra pressure because uh, somebody before me won. Any coach that goes to uh, places where <clears throat> it's normal to win uh, will participate uh, with the history of, of, of that club or at that, uh, that country, national team. Um, it's a privilege uh, for any coach to, uh, to be able to stand uh, in front of a team that uh, has a fantastic history like, uh, like Cameroon or like other, other teams in the world. Um, but uh, I also know with my experience that uh, the past only counts for one day. 
the next day you need to perform again for the next title. Um, the past is the past and uh, uh, also after uh, AFCON 2017, uh, Cameroon didn't win to the World Cup. So that's also what was left behind. Um, but I'm not looking at that, you know. Um, I'm just looking at what we, the, the moment we started, um, the players that we found. We didn't make a big revolution in the beginning because I think a lot of players uh, were also there uh, in last AFCON. And then we started to build our, our team uh, and I think that we have found a, a fantastic balance. Uh, we have uh, uh, discovered for us some new players that, that could add value uh, for the team as well. So, um, I don't think that anybody can put more pressure on myself or on Patrick uh, than, than us. I mean, we're used to uh, compete to win and we're used to uh, have that mentality. Um, now we do it as coaches and uh, we are um, ready to, uh, to compete and to uh, uh, fight to bring the cup home again. Oui, euh, merci coach. Euh, je m'appelle Achille Chouza, je travaille pour le quotidien Le Jour. Oui, coach, ma question va me sembler un peu loyer, mais il faudrait tout le monde que vous nous donniez des explications par rapport à elle. Donc, je voudrais vous dire que nous avons été satisfaits de constater que vous avez appelé dans le premier stage un jeune comme Simon Monsola, qui a joué ici en championnat. Tout le monde a vu. Et personne, tout le monde était content que vous l'ayez appelé. Mais à côté de lui, il y a deux autres qui jouent au championnat local. Tout au moins, un, deux qu'on va appeler des locaux, que vous avez appelés, mais qui ne font pas partie des 23. En fait, nous sommes des journalistes ici présents dans la salle. Et nous avons vécu le championnat qui vient de s'achever, avec les playoffs. Et nous avons constaté justement qu'il y a des joueurs dans ce championnat qui euh, mérite aussi d'avoir de la place euh, dans votre équipe, au même titre que certains que vous avez sélectionnés, sinon ont un peu, un peu plus de valeur. Les journalistes ne peuvent pas tous se tromper, euh, parce que si je sors deux noms ici, vous allez voir que tout le monde va être d'accord avec moi. Mais permettez que je ne sorte pas ces noms. Donc, coach, vous qui ne résidez pas au Cameroun, est-ce que vous ne faites pas confiance en quelqu'un à qui vous pouvez demander de vous trouver deux joueurs du championnat local qui peuvent avoir la place dans votre équipe. Nous, les journalistes, nous savons qu'il y a des joueurs qui ont la capacité de jouer et d'être parmi vos 23 joueurs. Pourquoi ça va continuer Okay, I mean, we have, we have discussed this, I think, uh, many times, but we will do again. <laughs> First of all, I think this is an issue that you need to speak with the president of FECAFOOT. This is organization. I don't do the organization of FECAFOOT. Um, I do the organization of the first team, and we have created our own, uh, let's say, network to get information uh, for local players as well. But I've always said that, uh, you know, there can be an exception that one local player is so good that he will be called upon. But I'm also sure that if one local player is so good, he won't be playing in Cameroon anymore. So if he's still playing in Cameroon, that means that there's still a gap. All the players, local players that we have seen for us still need to do something more. But we brought, as you said, Steve Akono, we had in the beginning also the brother of Steve uh, with us, and uh, yeah, Simon. And Simon, fantastic 
coach, uh, goalkeeper. Um, it shows the tradition of, of Cameroon with goalkeepers. I mean, it's fantastic. Um, I'm not talking about the goalkeeper. I'm talking more about the field players, yes, in this sense, because Simon would be eventually ready to keep, because we have seen him in these weeks and uh, nothing to say. Um, Steve won Best Player Award uh, in uh, Cannes, under 17. So we wanted to also send a signal to the young players in Cameroon that if you perform, you work hard, you're disciplined, you can be part of something. And we gave them an experience that uh, hopefully will give them so much for their career and so much for Cameroon football. Because these two weeks that they had with us, training in Real Madrid ground, training in the best facility in the world, in Doha, that is uh, priceless. Um, Akono was very close to being last 23, because from day one when we brought him to Comor, first match, he was the best uh, player during that week. He was for us the best player during the week, but conditions were not there still to, to invite him. Then of course experience, and that's exactly the reason why uh, we at the end didn't choose these players to come, because still they make tactical choices that we don't have the time in a tournament for these mistakes. Yeah, um, These are seven matches and you need to um, you need to you need to be able to uh, count on each player that uh, they know what it takes to get there or they understand what it takes to get there because even the most experienced player can make mistakes in important matches um, but obviously we have seen that there's still a difference in, 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 in quality, in tactical capacity, in technical capacity with the players that made the last final of 23 and uh, these local players. But we can say that uh, Cameroon has talent. We, don't, we, we knew that already, right? But these young guys are going to definitely be important for the future of Cameroon. Au moment où euh, les Lions s'apprêtent à participer à la Cameroun-Égypte, est-ce que le coach peut, me dire, peut nous dire qui sera le capitaine et quelles sont les raisons qui vous ont amené à choisir ce joueur comme capitaine Merci. Si capitaine, pourquoi vous choisissez lui Le capitaine va être Chupo Moting. La raison pour laquelle est parce que. First of all, technically, he is a technical leader. Yeah, he's one of our best players. Um, he understands what uh, we as staff want in terms of the mix of our mentality, the local mentality. He, in the team, he is a guy who's liked by, by all of the players. And um, I think he has a great presence also towards the outside. Uh, all of these elements with his personality, I think, uh, is a good fit. And uh, it was nice that every time we gave him the band, he scored. So <laughs> let's let's continue like that. But um, that is our choice. We all obviously um, uh, have more captains, as I have said from day one as well. Uh, but we need to make a choice uh, for one. But we have a really uh, fantastic group of uh, of leaders uh, in in our team and. They all know now by fact that we count them like that. It's not just because Chupo now will have the band that the others don't count. Actually, many times we speak even with other players, other leaders about certain things because they are more occupied with these things. So it's really about the cohesion and, and, and a group of leaders that are making uh, uh, the team a strong team. Bonjour, coach. Non, non, donnez lui d'abord, il peut reviendra. Merci. 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 Merci was just about the unity of the side. So which Inter-Mid Lions team are we going to see? And the fact that there's just one right back when you look at the 23-1 squad you need. 
Okay, I'll start with the last one. Uh, Dawa, Dawa is also right back. That's why we choose him because we want to have players that can know to play different positions. We have um, we have Gaitan who can play left back. He can play centre defender. Dawa the same thing. We have um, Bumal who can play forward. He can play in midfield. He can play on the left. He can play on the right. Dagur he can play forward. He can play midfield. He can play left. He can play right. When you have only 23 players that you can count on, that's how we also choose our selection to make sure that we have players that we can use in different positions. Faye Collins can play on left back side as well. So um, that for us uh, has been uh, uh, very important to know that we have, for example, Dawa Chakonto, who, who knows to play on the right side as well. He did it very well against, uh, was it Alcorcon, I think, uh, or no, the, against Zambia, uh, with a nice cross, and we scored. For the rest, I have to tell you just to have a little bit more patience. In five days, six days, we start, so you can see what we're going to do. Yeah? <laughs> Coach, in the Canal Plus, Coach, depuis pour arriver, vous n'avez eu à faire qu'un seul match en jeu. Le reste, c'était deux matchs amicaux. Vous allez dans une canne où toutes les équipes sont aguerries et vraiment en pleine forme, surtout celles que nous allons affronter. Ils ont vraiment eu à faire des matchs en jeu et ils en ont plein les jambes. Comment comptez-vous aborder ces compétitions avec cette préparation Easy teams. Easy teams. Mm. No, 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 yeah, I understand. We're ready for the, for the, for the real teams. That have competed. Yeah. Well, you know, um, it's true that we had only uh, one match that really counted uh, to qualify because we were qualified uh, until that last match. Um, but the fact is that Morocco has 11 points and Cameroon ended up with 11 points and Morocco had to play all the matches to qualify. That means that uh, we have taken uh, the match uh, very seriously, all the matches, and that we have been also playing against teams that needed to qualify. And um, despite the fact that Cameroon was qualified, we ended up with the same points as Morocco and with only two goals difference. So. I think that we have um, had, uh, uh, for sure, uh, the right approach. And um, the moment we were asked to step up against Comor at home, we did. And I think that is what uh, was important for us. But now there's a new start. Eh? Um, this is months ago. And the uh, players uh, have finished their uh, season. Um, let's see uh, how everybody present themselves uh, for AFCON. But we are very satisfied with our preparation until now. A few days to go, and then uh, we finally start. Thank you. You're welcome. Bonjour, coach. Je suis uh, Sylvain Gambi du site internet pressport.com. Alors, uh, coach, vous avez été un très grand joueur. Vous avez uh, côtoyé les grands entraîneurs du monde de votre époque, un grand joueur. Vous avez joué des coupes du monde. Deux semaines de préparation, plus de 3000 km à parcourir entre Madrid, Doha, le Cameroun et puis le Caire. Est-ce que ce n'est pas lourd pour les joueurs, pour vous qui avez été un grand joueur So the question is that if you want to train very fast, as you as a former player is this uh, championship play uh, World Cup. Do you think it's the best way going so far to for the country? Okay. Um, I think we actually went very close huh? because Madrid was very close to most of the players in, in Europe. So that first choice was uh, exactly for this reason to not go uh, traveling uh, to Asia or America. It, it was maybe maximum two hours flying for all the players to be in Madrid. 
and uh, we have worked there for uh, for a week. Very good, great week. And then Doha was a six hours flight. I mean, it's not a big issue. Uh, the, the the planning, initial planning, was different, but we're going to spare you with all the difficulties that we've had to organize uh, everything uh, the way we wanted. But we uh, were able to um, maximize the time that we had in Madrid and maximize the time we had in Doha. And uh, I think the, the hardest part for us has been now from Doha to Cameroon and tomorrow already back to Egypt. So when we arrive in Egypt, we will have a specific program to recover from these two days. But uh, elsewhere, we uh, otherwise, I think we have really had a, a good camp. Yeah. Bonjour coach. Okay. Bonjour coach, je suis de Riga, je travaille pour euh, la CRTV. Coach, euh, ma question en réalité euh, a parcouru euh, l'opinion ces derniers temps. Il est question de savoir euh, pourquoi la présence de Jacques Sorel dans cette liste de 23. Let me try in English. Uh, how do we explain the selection of Jacques Sorel? Okay. <laughs> I, I think I think um, the question should be more specific. But um, Jacques Zoua, for us, is a very important player for the team. Um, he has shown to be um, capable to play different positions as well. Um, I think you can understand that uh, if Boubacar would have been fit, then maybe, maybe Zoa wouldn't have made it. Maybe. Maybe somebody else. But um, for us, uh, the first day he trained with us, we, uh, we understood that Zoa has, um, has uh, characteristics that uh, is of our interest. The guy that comes in the game, he can uh, keep the ball. He made the assist uh, to the first uh, uh, the goal of Chupo. Uh, I think it was against uh, Malawi. Yeah, um, he works very hard. He is very well uh, uh, integrated in the group, uh, which is something very important. Um, he's always working hard, always there, present with it, with the with the training sessions, and it's a guy that you can use um, in in different positions in any time. He can also start, obviously. So I don't know what the history is with Cameroon and Zoa because I've heard this uh, situation as well. In Cameroon, it seemed that the strikers, like everywhere, right, need to score goals. Maybe he's not a guy who will score more goals, but the work he does for the team is very important. Every striker has different characteristics. There's striker who score more, there's striker who does more work for the team, and somebody else score. Yeah, it's not about Zoa scoring. It's about Cameroon winning the matches. It's about Cameroon scoring goals. It's not about Chupo scoring goals, it's about Cameroon winning. That's the spirit that we need to have, and I hope that we can also look at the players like that, and then maybe you can value better what, what Zoa means on the field when he has played as well. How much he works hard when he loses the ball, how much he recovers, how many balls he takes away, how much pressure does he put. All the things that help the team to, to, to perform. And um, I mean, um, very positive, all of that. Obviously, as a striker, We want him to also score, but I think he scored four goals against uh, Alcorcón. Maybe Alcorcón is not the best thing, but, yes, but you need to still score. Huh? It's easy to say, still you need to make the goal, still you need to be there. And um, he has all our, um, our confidence and trust, and it's better that we have all of us trust in the 23, 23 list, huh? because we need to cheer for them that they score, doesn't matter who. Uh, this camp, do you want to win it or you just want to prepare for 20, the next camp in Cameroon 2021? What did I want? He said, do you want to win it? Ah, this okay. Camp, or you want to win it? You want to win it? Yeah, I'll come back to you. Give me just uh, to finalize one other thing. 
We also obviously had in camp um, Same. Yeah, Same got injured. So we had to, we had some competition going there uh, on, on the striker position. But if you see, we have looked for guys that can, you know, that physically are, 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 are strong and can make goals, but they can also work f for the team. Same is similar in that sense to Zoa. Zoa, uh, Same was also a guy that can keep the ball, uh, work very hard. Unfortunately, he got injured, so he couldn't uh, compete to be on, on, on the last list. Uh, but I just wanted to show that the type of players that we choose is because there are certain characteristics that in, is of, of our interest. Then you can have a lot of other number nines or strikers, but maybe they're not part of, of what we're looking for. Um, I love winning. So every time we can win, I mean, winning brings good vibes, right? So. Uh, we always try to win. It doesn't matter if it's a friendly match, uh, tournament. Um, it's 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 a mentality. Uh, you enter in the match to win. Um, doesn't matter what. You enter in the training and you have a match on training. You play to win. That's the only way I know. And that's how we train. That's how the players are performing in training these days, fantastically. And hopefully we can transform that in, in the matches. But. Um, Let's start with this one, right? Because 21 is far away. What if? If we have, you see, we have a total of four players who could be called. So if those, those of one of the two, we can still have. Oh, we are only uh, six days away now, and. Um, Obviously, the first ones we will go and pick are the ones who have been with us uh, in Madrid. You know, all the players that have been on the list, obviously, uh, are the ones we would uh, call. But uh, we're not really worried about that at this point. I think everybody is quite fit. Uh, we have um, practically uh, all players fit. Some need some extra uh, maintenance, but um, the group is fit. So. Let's just keep it like that. Merci. Je suis Bouba Rona. Je travaille pour Canal International. Ma question ne s'adresse pas au coach. Je suppose que le team manager qui est sur la table là pourra répondre à ma question parce que c'est pas. Non, non, c'est la, c'est la conférence de presse du coach. Okay. Vous pourrez faire une, euh, une interview à, à, au team manager après s'il en a convenance, mais aujourd'hui ce n'est que le coach. Bon, je pense pas. que le coach pourra aussi euh, yes. répondre à ma question, euh, même si ce n'est pas une question d'ordre technique. Euh, à votre arrivée, une euh, rumeur a envoyé la toile, une rumeur selon laquelle la prise en charge de l'équipe euh, au Qatar a été euh, faite par. Et euh, si on s'en tient à cette information qui vient d'un proche euh, de cet ancien lion incontable qui par ailleurs euh, était votre collaborateur, on voudrait savoir si c'est déjà vrai, premièrement, et puis ensuite, si c'est le cas, est-ce que ça aussi euh, c'est pareil pour euh, l'Espagne Merci. Ah. So the issue is to say, to say that yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, but uh, where's where's the where's the where's the name? Yes. Yes, good afternoon. I, I think you know very well who needs to enter this question, right? Huh? And it's definitely not uh, the people sitting on this table. So um, you will have the opportunity for sure to speak with our president and he will be able to uh, answer your question if he wants. Yes. Two dernières questions. Two dernières questions. Madame. Good afternoon, coach. Uh, my name is Faith Wang. I work for the CLT National Station. My question is simple. A few days to the kickstart of the African Nations Cup. What's the atmosphere like in your country? Guys, excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, my question is a few days to the kickstart of the African Cup of Nations in Egypt. What's the atmosphere like in your camp? You're going to be here tomorrow? You're going to be here tomorrow? Yes? You will see tomorrow. <laughs> we don't, we don't, about atmosphere, we don't speak. We need to see. Right? I'm very satisfied, but I, I want you to observe yourself. You will see what the atmosphere is. And, uh, you know, it's, it's been uh, two weeks now, a little bit more, that we're together. And uh, it's every day, 24 hours, so... I hope you can uh, feel tomorrow what kind of atmosphere uh, there is and, um, and write about it and talk about it. Because uh, if you're talking about, uh, I don't want to talk about players now that are not on the 23 list. We're not going to open any questions about players that are not here. If you want to ask questions about the players that are here, um, there was time until until this moment, yes, to speak about other players. Cameroon has thousands of players around the world, thousands of players around the world. So it's 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 a, it's a blessing. But now we have only 23, and I want to only talk about those players that are with us now. Uh, I'm concentrated on that. I don't want to hear about players that are not here. It's for us just a waste of time, and uh, also disrespectful to the ones who have been chosen. Um, if the ones who are not here are not chosen, there's a reason for it. And the simple reason is that we think that what we have now is enough to be competitive and to go and try to get the cup back and keep it in Cameroon. Merci. Je crois que nous sommes parvenus au terme de cet échange avec la presse. J'espère que vous avez eu des réponses à la mesure de vos attentes. Nous vous donnons rendez-vous demain pour venir voir un peu ce que ces joueurs ont fait pendant deux semaines. Et je crois que vous pourriez vous-même faire une idée de ce qu'ils sont capables de faire durant la, la canne en Égypte. Merci.